everyone, here's another mini album I want to share with you. This is a mini album that I created um, using the new Bow Bunny On The Go paper collection. And um, there's really not a lot of really fabulous boy papers out there, but this year there seem to be quite a few fabulous ones, and this one is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, it's got bright colors and all little things that are boys. It's got the green, the orange, the blues, and the... Uh, and the yellows and trucks and trains and airplanes and anyway it's just darling so um, I used the uh, tutorial on how to make a coin envelope page and I'll put the link to the um, to the tutorial where I learned how to create the pages and I've done these before so I it's on one of my other videos but I'll also add it to this one so what I did is I used the cinch to bind it um, and I used the biggest O wires I had and it's still a little poofy but um, Oh well, what are you gonna do? On the spine, I did take some of the bunny, uh, the bunnies, the buttons from the collection, and uh, strung them on some uh, twine from the twinery. And then this is one of the charms from the, the trinkets from the collection. It's a little truck with his beep beep on it. So what I did is I didn't want it to hang down too long, so I took um, three jump rings that are the real heavy jump rings and um, just strung them together and then attached it with that onto the o wire. And then I have some bow bunny double dot ribbon here in the brown and the yellow. Um, and then I have some blue satin and some green dot and some more little orange uh, trim that I had in my stash. So what I did on the front cover is I cut this little strip of railroad um, stuff off of the paper. I fussy cut the little stop sign out and pop dotted it up with some dimensionals. I cut the little train out on my Cricut using the uh, Mickey font. No. No, Mickey and Friends cartridge. Um, and I think I cut it at like three inches, three, no, three and a quarter inches. And what I did was I went ahead and um, the little inside of the wheels comes out blue, so I took my brown marker and covered over that and then put some uh, distress stickles to cover up that. I cut the little on the go from the paper strip at the bottom and adhered that there. I fussed cut one of the gears out and stuck that um, on the nose of the trains I thought it needed a little something and then what I did is I left this open at the top so we can put a little photo on here one of those little um, index photos and that can just slide right in here so it looks like they're driving a little train this is a little sticker from the sticker collection and then I did some little doodling with my marker uh, just to add some um, more little lines to the uh, the train so that's the cover and then you open it up and on the inside cover um, I made a little pocket again. This is actually a sticker, and I punched it out with my circle punch, and then um, layered on top of some foam tape. I made a bunch of little tags here um, with the bow bunny double dot ribbon, a little airplane paper. This is actually a sticker from the sticker sheet. It says "Boy Oh Boy," and I mounted it on some of the double dot orange paper. This is actually a tag from the tag sheet, but I did trim it down a little bit. This is "Life Is a Highway," and there's a big truck with some. Um, trucks and on cars on it and then it's a double dot paper and then I use my uh, Tim Holtz tiny attacher to attach the ribbon here's another sticker from the sticker collection um, trucks and dirts and shades of blue little boys are angels too and then I used my um, Tim Holtz attacher to attach the ribbon again I mounted this on the blue double dot paper the double dot bow bunny papers are fabulous with this paper collection so that's the inside cover. So for the first page, again, all the pages are constructed exactly the same. I have six pages in here, and I probably should have only done five, but oh well. And I did wrap my chipboard um, instead of just covering it and then painting the outside edges. I like to wrap my chipboard. So I have the airplane paper here. Here is my photo mat on the inside. It's the yellow double dot paper and then some more of the design paper on the back. And I use my Stampin' Up tab punch to punch the tabs and they're all uh, exactly the same pattern paper. So that goes back in there. You flip it over. You do get a lot of real estate in this little mini album. That's what I like about it. I put one little sticker photo corners here. Um, again, this is a photo mat right here. This flips up. And I have some more of the darling paper here. I made a little photo corner with the double dot paper and edged it with my decorative scissors. This is a little uh, ticket sticker from the sticker sheet. It says Little Dude. And then this is a pocket right here. And what I did for all of my tags inside these pockets is I cut these little airplanes out on my Cricut using the Boys Will Be Boys cartridge. And then I used the shadow feature. So it worked out really great. And they fit in there just 
perfect. How cute is that? <laughs> and then this actually opens up and you have place for photo and photos here. So that's just one page unit and you do get a lot of space in there. So for the second page, again, I put a little pocket on the front of this one and again, another little photo corner from the sticker sheet. I made a couple little tags here with some of the leftover solid carts like I had and some double dot paper and I fussy cut this little bicycle sign out. And this is a sticker from the sticker sheet of the um, stoplight sign. Another little traffic sign. So let's go back in there. And here's the photo mat for this one. This is the blue double dot paper with the design paper on the back. And on the other side, again, a place for really nice photo here. And you flip it up, you can put a photo here. Again, I used another little photo corner that I cut with my um, decorative scissors. And here, this one is the yellow airplane photo mat. So I did two of each color on my photo mats. I did blue and green and yellow. Here's the next page. It's got the little airplane paper, which I think is darling. And here's the photo mat for that one in the back. I use solid brown cardstock to create the pages. Another little sticker uh, photo corner right here. This flips up and again this is another little ticket sticker. It says cruising and I love the airplane paper here so I made the little airplane blue on this one and stuck it inside. You can fit a little two by two photo on here. You just use your circle punch maybe and round it. I thought that would be kind of a cute idea. Over here I add a little belly band to the outside of this one and made a little tag with the stoplight sign and solid on the back so you can put a little photo or journaling. And that goes right here and here's the tag for this one. This is the yellow one again. So again I did two of each color on the solids. And you flip it up. Um, this paper is actually part of the design paper and it's like tire tracks and it's all brown but does have a design print in there. It's just kind of hard to tell. So I put a piece of the orange double dot paper as a second photo mat on top of that and I fussy cut this little truck out and stuck it here in the corner. Again, I fussy cut one of the little no U-turn signs right here and put it in the corner and then here's my other little airplane photo mat. Over here, again, another pocket. Here's the tag for this one. It's blue. Love the double dot paper. It looks so cute. This paper is darling. It is so stinking cute. All the bright fun colors. And again the little bicycle sign. I fussy cut that out and stuck it on the corner here. This flips up. And I have a little airplane paper there. A little railroad sign that I fussy cut and put it on top of this. And here's my little green airplane mat. I made a little belly band right here. I don't know what I did with the tag, but maybe I need to make one. Oops. Um, and here's the tag for this pocket right here. And you flip it over. Again, I added a strip of the green because I was I didn't want to cut another piece of paper, and this is what I had left, so I went ahead and used this. And I used a six by six paper pad to make this. And you flip it up. Again, I fussy cut the little no parking sign here, and I added the little blue airplane photo mat inside there. And this is a back inside cover. I layered a couple of um, strips of the design paper onto the solid, the orange double dot paper. I cut this tag out from the tag sheet. It says gear up for fun. And this was from the 12 by 12 tag sheet. And so that's the back cover. So that's my little boy mini album. I think I'm going to put pictures of my grandson in here. He's almost three. He loves trains. Trains are his favorite, so... There you have it. That's my little Bow Bunny on the Go mini album. Thanks for watching. Bye.